battle rages on. Sophie fuming mad exposed Meghan's dirty plot after snubbed her ropes. Meghan Markle made it clear she didn't need any help from Sophie Wessex in adjusting to royal life, despite a suggestion by the late Queen, a new book has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex quit her acting career on marrying Prince Harry in 2018 and pledged to hit the ground running on becoming a working royal. But according to a new book by author and friend of the royals Giles Brandreth H., Harry's grandmother the Queen knew that royal life can be challenging to begin with. In the book, Elizabeth, an intimate portrait, he writes that the monarch suggested that her daughter-in-law Sophie should show Meghan the ropes. But he says that Meghan felt she didn't need the help of Sophie, the wife of the Queen's youngest son Prince Edward. An extract of the book in the Mail on Sunday says, the Queen, who, of course, had seen it all before, understood that Harry's girl might find adjusting to royal life challenging to begin with, as she put it. It is very jolty, but you soon get used to it dash that was Her Majesty's experience going back many years. To help Meghan, the Queen suggested that her daughter-in-law, Sophie Wessex, would be an ideal mentor. Sophie can help show you the ropes, said the Queen. Meghan made it clear that she did not feel she needed Sophie's help. She had Harry. Meghan and Sophie's bond came under focus in September when they travelled together in the same car during the Queen's state funeral and her coffin procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. Sophie, who grew up in a middle-class family and founded a PR firm before joining the royal family, has been compared with Meghan, as they both underwent a huge transition upon joining the family. As the two outsiders of the royal family, Sophie Wessex and Meghan Markle share a lot more than Meghan would like to accept. Prince Edward married Sophie when she was 34, she was the only woman from the royal family with a career and her own business. Markle later arrived to marry Prince Harry, who is one of the Queen's first grandsons and closest to the throne. When Meghan first came into the circle of the royal family, Sophie was the first to extend a hand for assistance. However, according to the Sun's royal family insider, Sophie quickly realized Meghan had her own agenda. She soon knew they wouldn't become the better friends and the Queen's passing makes this even more improbable. One of the main reasons Sophie Wessex has been very well accepted to the royal family and she is even part of the firm now is very simple. She quickly became one of Queen Elizabeth II's favorites, even before she got married to Prince Edward. After they tied the nod, the Queen became a mother figure to Sophie and the Countess soon embraced her life as a royal. Now that King Charles III is taking the throne, he will name Prince Edward the Duke of Edinburgh. This will inevitably make Sophie a royal duchess. In the eyes of the royal family insider, this is a well-deserved promotion for a woman who has remained devoted to the family. Motion for a woman.